What's going on, family? It's your man, the YB, King of Flesh. Once again, that's what you best believe right now. Big shout out to my to the boss man, Callum Fishwick, for boosting up that coin and staying the most loyal. That's what you best believe, one hundred percent. So we got some breaking news right now. Yeah, some Pikachu news for certain Donnies who need to get that beat wound right the way in you. Listen, let me tell you something now. I'm sick of this 2022, you know. Yeah, there's way too many Donnies with no hands, no hand having asses who think they want some smoke. Yeah, big Turban having ass. Turban, listen, Turban Donnie. Turban Donnie thought there was something sweet, yeah. He thought, oh, it's one of them ones. That's a problem, you see. People watch too many movies. They think, oh, look. Yeah, um... I've seen all these ones where people kick off and it works out well for them. That's the problem, like I said, people ain't checked enough. We saw Mike Tyson the other time on the plane, Goober. Now, to be fair, that was a bit of a, that was some next frat boy thing, but still, a Goober nonetheless. This one was some knockoff London wannabe road man, trying to give it a big one. Now, <laughs> like I said, dons with no hands need to get that beak wound right in. Big puff in their chest like this. Oh, you can do something. Doing all the wrong things on Twitter. I said, Listen, what you notice, yeah, dons, people who have no hands, they be the hilarious ones, you know, the ones with no hands. And you can tell because anyone who I'm not saying I'm, listen, I'm not saying I'm some hand having, I'm not saying I'm some hand having ass professional, but still, people with people who have some level of experience with the, with the squabbles, yeah, guess what they ain't doing? They ain't. Putting that beak right in the air. That's what they ain't trying to do. The beak ain't going in the air, for one. And number two, ain't puffing their chest out. You want to be small. Like this cat. <laughs> this cat, he thought it was something sweet. And that's the problem, you see. He had some success at the start. Yeah? He tasted a little bit of success. There was some small don, some small security don. Yeah? And he got off on him. And he ended up pushing him into the barrier, I think. I think the small security don nearly fell over. And that's the problem, you see. Yeah, pride or pride or success often becomes before a fall. He got a little bit of a yeah. He got he caught a little bit of a derby for oh yeah. I'm feeling this one. These security cats are, are soft because, like I said, it's 2022 and a lot of security cats these days are soft. A lot of these cats are wannabes. They go to security people and police. A lot of them dons go to them sort of industries because they're goobers. Ah, oh, I want to be a security guy because I've never had any power in my life. I want to get some power. That's often how them security ones end up. So two twos, yeah, like I said, Mr. Turban, he got off on one of them and thought, ooh, he was smith and he went, hmm, there's something sweet, there's something sweet about these security cats. And then he thought, he carried on the yammer. But anyway, let's backtrack a minute. I've got all into a bit of a tailspin here. Let me give you, man, the run through, because it's quite an interesting story, actually. Now, the Don in question is called Julius Francis. Now, Julius Francis is one of Mike Tyson's former ops. Yeah, they fought in the ring. Now, to be fair, he's not no, he's not a Lennox Lewis. He's got about, his resume ended up being like 22 and 22. 22 dubs and 22 losses, but what do we know? He fought in the 80s. No word of a lie, Julian Francis, yeah, would probably have AJ. on this corner spare spade. Dons, who was just bums back in the 80s, yeah, would come in and have a good go on most people. Not being funny, but we saw the remnants of this. Look at Vladimir Klitschko. Oops. Yeah, Klitschko. What? And he wasn't even really fighting the ones from the real 80s and 90s. He was fighting dons like 
Samuel Pe- was it Samuel Peters or whatever, but the point is, they was like that middle, the middle, they weren't the full 1990s, if you get what I'm saying, it's got progressively worse, but still, that's what happens when new school meets the old school, you see what happened to Vlad, yeah, mid-tier old school guys made Vlad look silly, yeah, meanwhile Vlad went on to dominate for decades, or for a decade, you understand, that's my point, so this cat here, Julian Francis, his resume may not look, sound or look like much, but you best believe, when it comes to the, the goobers of today, the 2022 goobers, he a legend, <laughs> yeah, he got legendary skills compared to the, what's currently existing, no doubt, one million percent, but anyway, like I was saying, Julian Francis, his work in security, I think it's a boxer event, or a Sky, and, no, it couldn't be the zone, it was Sky, it was boxer, it was some small Sky show, and he's doing the security, and most people, and that's the thing, the, the, Mr. Turban, Mr. Blue Turban, yeah, he thought, like I said, he thought, hmm, there's something 22, there's something super sweet about these security, I'm not sure what they was beefing about or whatever, but whatever it was, 9 times out of 10, these guys, no one's ever checked them before, yeah, they put their, listen, they put their Nike, what they, they put their Nike TNs on, they put their Nike Air Max on, he put their, puts his Blue Turban on, and he feeling himself. Yeah, there's something, you know what I mean? One of them ones, pretty tracky bottoms on, and then that, that's what they, that's the problem you see. Yeah, that's what you call the rowdy starter kit. Yeah? Got your, got your turban on. Turban, check. Nike Air Maxes, check. Tracky bottoms, check. Yeah, put it on the set, that's what you call the rowdy Larry, no ha hand have an ass, no squabbles have an ass, scuba set, 2022, 100%. You put, listen, like I said, Mr. Mr. Blue Turban, put, put his set on. And thought he was ready to thought he's ready to create some havoc. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm these these individuals normally they're used to causing problems. You see, they they go to these things looking for issues, thinking that everyone's going to be like the first guy he encountered. But like I was saying, listen, Julian Francis, former heavyweight boxer, he's mixed it with the real ones from the eighties and nineties. He's working security, minding his business. Now, as I've explained, most security cats aren't like Julian Francis, and especially in this age and day and age, most security cats aren't certified like Julian Francis is, most security cats are goobers, let's be real now, they join, as I've explained, they join for a sense of power and authority, that's just the bottom line, most of them, obviously there's some dons who don't, but these days, and that's probably why Mr. Turban, you know, Mr. Turban, he thought there was something sweet, he thought, oh, I've been to a few, events before, and got off on the security, and all the birds loved it, oh, you know what I'm saying, when I'm 100%, he thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna get off on some security, yeah, pump myself up, and all my friends will hold me back, and it'll be, you know what I mean, one of them ones, because his friends was there, his friends were there, and his friends weren't, I'm not even sure what they was doing, but either way, they didn't calm him down enough, because we saw what happened, yeah, whatever, and that's, that's what you call bad friends, bad friends are individuals, yeah, who don't let you know what time it was, and it was too late, because Mr. Julian Francis had to remind my man what time it was. Yeah, this ain't no, I don't know what time you thought this was. You may have thought this was 2022, and all the security is zesty, but thankfully there's a real Donny called Julian here to remind you of the old times of how things used to go. I mean, I've heard loads of stories. We've all seen the films, Rise of the Foot Soldier. Back in the day, security firms were serious. You'd get properly filled in for being rowdy. Yeah, these days though, I mean... As it happens, in this case, the police dropped the case in, uh, involving this. There was a police investigation. The police just dropped it, apparently, saying they're not going to investigate. But that's the point. These days, someone gets rowdy. That's what I don't understand. In life, or the universe, there's cause and effect. Yeah? If you stick your beak out and, and yammer it all up, expect your beak to get knocked. That's simple as that. Yeah? It's, it's like getting in a swimming pool and complaining. Today, though, in 2022, yeah, people can jump in. People can take their own body and use their own brain, and jump into the swimming pool, and then complain, oh, I got wet, oh, I'm wet, someone do something about it, yeah, that's your problem, so I never got that, oh, I'm, everyone's got their own problems, but it's meant, they don't impose it onto everyone else, do you understand, oh, I want to say, I want to be identified as A, B, C, D, Z, that's good for you, yeah, if you want to be identified a certain way, you do that, I don't want to do that, yeah, <laughs> that's what I never understood, but now we're being, everyone's forced to co-sign other people's madness. Yeah, this goober here, essentially saying, oh, I should be allowed to go around and rowl off wherever I want. 
because I've got a pair of Nike TNs on. on. I've got, listen, my name's Mr. Blue Turban, yeah, and I've got a pair of Nike TNs on and a tra and a pair of tracky bottoms. So that gives me the right to mouth off to whoever it is. Oops. Yeah, and nine times out of ten, this strategy would have been correct in 2022. Nine times out of ten, even the certified security guards, nine times out of ten, they get twitchy. Yeah. Security is a somewhat regulated thing. You can't be these days. You can't be knocking heads like that. You get your you get your um regulation card pulled, so people get nervous. Back in the day, they'd knock your head, and that'd be the end of that. Yeah, and chuck you out, and you'd be in hospital somewhere. Wind you end, yeah, wind up missing somewhere. That's what would happen. But these days, everyone's thinking, oh, here's even though here's the problem. Even though Mr. Rowd is the problem, everyone else has to watch themselves. It's like. Oh, I better not do anything, because if I do, I'm going to end up in trouble. It's like, what? Well, it's all back to front, isn't it? Mr. Rowdy, and that's why I respect Julian, because, as I've explained, people who cause problems, they're the one who need to be on Monday morning reflecting on, on their behaviour. And you best believe Mr. Nike Air Maxes was doing a hell of a lot of reflecting after he woke up. Yeah? He, and he, you best believe it took him... He, he, was, he was Stone Cold Steve Austin, and rightfully so. Yeah, and that's why I have to backtrack to some extent. Because I criticised his friends, but his friends, fair play to them. His friends, and that's what, I'm, that's what I told you about. It's a bit double-edged double sword for me. Because whilst I give his friends credit for knowing CPR, because I'm fair play to them, man. And that's what, that's what I'm saying. Even though I give his friends credit for knowing CPR, they had him on his side. They do all the, all the resuscitation techniques. Fair play to his friends, man. But what else, what does that normally or what does that imply? That implies his friends have a lot of experience having to bring him round. Do you understand? Because I'm telling you this a free. If one of my friends got comatose, I wouldn't know where to start. So the fact that his friends just jumped in and started doing CPR, I thought, okay, no. They must know this one. They must know this Don has no whiskers but likes to round off. Yeah? Khan Khan chin have an ass. Mr. Khan. Mr. Khan, Khan's cousin, that was Khan's cousin, 100%. I don't care what no one says. I spoke to the people close to the situation. They told me that's Amir Khan's cousin. So it's, when you actually take a step back, it's adding up now. Yeah, Amir Khan's cousin turns up, rouds off, probably bitter. Oh, Khan's retired and all that kind of stuff. Khan's cousin turned up looking for squabbles and much like his cousin, no chin, and got put out. Oops, it's one of them ones. It's peak for, Mr. It's peak for the Khan family right now. Khan cousin. Iced. Yeah, pray for Khan. That's what you must do right now. I must pray for Khan. Yeah, the Khan Dons, or the Khan Legacy is not looking good right now. Iced. Smooth as well. And anyway, let's, I, ain't finished, I ain't finished walking you man through yet. Let's do the quick walkthrough. Like I said. Yeah, check this out. Khan's cousin pulls up. I'm not sure what they're arguing about. It would be, it would be nice, actually, to know the context. Because for all we know, is it possible that Khan actually has a real... A real, what is it called? Is it possible Khan has a real, Khan's cousin, sorry, has a real something that's fair to be mad about? That's what I'm getting at. Does he have a point? We don't know. All we see is him mouthing off. Now, I'm guessing, he, for some reason or other, he got kicked out of an event. Now, that can be annoying, that can be frustrating, but we don't know the circumstances of why. Because really, I mean, we've, me, us, man, we watch loads of boxing events. How many of them really do you get kicked how many people do you see getting chucked out? So, in my opinion, chances are he was doing some goober behaviour, most likely. But again, it adds no value from the security's point of view. Why would they want to check out, chuck out people who are on point? It don't make no sense. So, most likely, he was wilding out off the rip. That's what got him in the situation. He's rounding off, most likely. He gets checked by some midget security donny. The midge didn't have enough mass, and he gets punked. At which point, Julian sees his co-brother, the midge, down bad. Yeah, and the thing about security is security are like police. Yeah, they, 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 they stick together. You best believe it as well. Even if once if one security guy is wrong, they'll, they'll all back the wrong guy. If in that sense. That's, they've got that proper police cohesion. No matter how corrupt it may be, they're backing them. Now, in this case, it wasn't corrupt. But I'm just giving you that, that, that tidbit. To know that these guys are a hundred for their mans. They back them a hundred. So, Mr. Julian Francis, he sees his mid brother his mid brethren get punked. And again, not only are these security dons very loyal with each other, they also ought not to be undermined, especially physically. 
Just think about it. How does it help your reputation? Your job is to provide security. How does it look when the man who's brought in to provide security is being mullet whopped all around the all around the perimeter? Yeah, people are thinking, wait a minute, I've, I'm paying you to secure the perimeter. Meanwhile, you're being thrown all around it. That's not what I paid you for. I'm paying you to secure the perimeter, not become part of it on the floor. Yeah. So again, there's nothing from a security man's point of view. There's nothing worse than being physically undermined. It's one thing people mouthing off, but being physically undermined is a big no-no. Yeah, a big no-no. And unfortunately, Mr. Turban, Amir Khan cousin, he ain't clocked that one. He ain't clock it. That's what he didn't clock. Oops. Yeah? Two twos. He pushed a small one. The small one felt bitter. At which point, Julian's sitting back in the cut. He ain't actually come into the fold yet, but he's sitting back and he preying. He posted. He posted on, on the perimeter, just eyeing it up. Yeah, and most likely, Julian being an experienced combatant, his mo and that's what I told you a second ago at the start, I said, people who actually understand any level of combat, they don't do the things you see Mr. Amir Khan's cousin doing. Running into the fray, and, and that's why you can always tell, if you sit back, the, the dangerous dons, yeah, it sounds cliche, but the dangerous dons are the ones who sit back, and they're, 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 they're you know what I mean, they sit back and they're praying such they're preying on they're preying on the they're preying on the prey bottom line predators predators that have to be often it's masculinity or alphaness is perceived as a big big hard man who shouts off and puffs his chest out but that, you, you just you just found out what happens there yeah big mr loud alpha he got slept yeah the real the real dangerous dons are the ones who sit back plotting plotting on your demise yeah, and Julian was plotting. He sat back in the cut, yeah, just sitting there. One of these ones, one of them ones, just eyeing it up, giving it the side eye, 100%. And then, again, as I've explained, Amir Khan's cousin just finished catching himself a dub. Yeah, he think, he feeling nice right now. He elated. Oh, I've just punked off a security guard and no one's done anything. Yeah, he started feeling himself. And as I've explained, his friends didn't come and stop him. Yeah, his friends weren't trying to stop nothing. At which point, after, bear in mind, Mr. Amir Khan's cousin had just caught a W, they're probably thinking, okay, we've got the situation under control. My man's winning, and it's all gravy. Yeah, that, that saying again, pride becomes, or pride comes before a fall. Just when he was at his most elative, that's where he made his mistake. Because rather than taking the dub and saying, you know what, I've just punked Mr. Midge, let me leave now, and... One of them ones. He then turns around and sees Julian. Julian was it? What's his name? I forgot his second name, but whatever. It, Julian, the big bulbous don, the big bulb, the big bulbous Nick. Yeah, the big bulbous Nick, who's been sitting there and plotting. He. That's what happened. Yeah. So he's just, as I've explained, a mere Khan cousin just caught a W. He then turns ninety degrees and sees Julius there. Yeah. And again, rather than saying, you know, what, that is one big nick. That's what I'll be saying. And that's what people with brains would say, you know what? I've just caught a W, a little W, pushing some midge over, some midge security guard. And I'm, I've just turned 90 degrees and there's one hell of a big nick there. Yeah, I don't want none of that. Let me back up, mouth off some more and go about, and go about my business. That's what someone with brains would do. Not this cat. This over-pumped wannabe alpha don for, ooh, look. I've just caught a W on that security guard who didn't do nothing. I'm in 2022, so I'm pretty safe. I've got a free license to do what I want. I can square up to who I want. I can pull up on who I want. I can do... That's what he thought. He thought he had it. That's the... And again, pride comes before a fall. He thought, boom, I've got a free license. These guys ain't going to do nothing. I've just pushed a small one, and he ain't do nothing. So I can go around now and, and swan around like I'm a really hard man and mug everyone off. And pretend they ain't gonna do nothing. Oops. Yeah, he walked up pretty strong. Mr. Amir Khan's cousin walks up pretty strong to Julian. And that's all it took. Yeah, Julian, who's, as I've explained, Julian had been sitting there analysing all the information. He already had his plan straight. Yeah, these other, that other Don who got chipped, who got his whiskers chipped, he weren't planning nothing. He was moving from one adrenaline fueled situation to another. He hadn't taken any time to weigh the balance. Yeah, 
he just thought he was, he just basically, he thought everything was sweet. He thought, I'm going to wick that guy. Oh, look at that big Nick. He, I'll, I think I'll wick him as well. Oops. Yeah. He came on a bit too strong. Next thing you know, Julian, step, half step back. Whoop. And that was it. Chipped him. And he called. He's sleeping now. Yeah, sleep it off. That's what you need to do. Miss, miss, listen, listen, Mr. Turban. Yeah, listen, Mr. Amir Khan cousin. Take it. Sleep it off. That's what you need to do right now. Take a sleep. Yeah, 100%. You must sleep it off. <laughs> That's what, it's simple as how you sleep it. And his friends run in and put him in a CPR position. Give him that good A1 CPR. Resuscitation. He need, listen. We, we need a... We, 100%. We need emergency services on aisle one. He's sleeping right now. He's sleeping. Listen, if I was there, yeah, I'd said, don't worry. He's sleeping off, 100%. He need to sleep right now. Yeah. He was kind of sleepy anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was with him, yeah. I'd have said, no, it's cool. It's cool. He told me he was kind of sleepy anyway. He needed a nap, he needed a nap 100%. He must nap this off. Yeah. But what gets me is the fact that after Amir Khan's cousin gets slept, yeah. Guess what? That's when the friends come in and they're like, no, 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 no. They start consoling, yeah? But where was all that? Before your man got slept, why didn't no one want to talk then? Because you man was happy. Because you thought you was winning, you man was happy. Yeah? No, notice you didn't see no one doing this. That, that, this stance here, yeah, is a, I don't want no more stance. Please don't give me any. They weren't doing that. They was all in there, rowding about, jumping about, thinking it was all fun and games. And that's what I don't rate. If you're going to start all this business, yeah, quit cowering, lead with that, yeah, lead with that, don't let your Don get smoked, and then think, oh damn, I don't want none of that, that's the thing, all of your so-called Dons, yeah, they didn't want none, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, I bet before they went out, they was like, yeah, yeah, more time, we're gonna back any beef, that's what, what, nine times out of ten, yeah, when you, when you go out in a group of people, yeah, when you, nine times out of ten, when you go out with, with a certain, with any amount of road man, before you go out, everyone agrees, are we back in beef tonight? Yes or no? Are we back in beef? We, we, we need to know what people are on. Yeah, and I guarantee you, all of Mr. Amir Khan's cousins, generals, were like, yeah, yeah, more time. We're going to back any beef. Any beef going to get squashed. Oops. Because Julian gave it a half step, whoop, and that was it. He's sleeping. No, no beef. They, they didn't want none, did they? How many of Mr. Turban Don's wanted some more of that? None of them did. Who stepped up? Yeah? The, I think the Nick that was with him, the Nick that was with him was like this. Oh, I don't want none. But he wasn't, they, like, he weren't doing that before, was he? That's what I don't get. When your man was rounding off and pulling up on Julian, you weren't trying to get in the middle. You weren't trying to de-escalate. You was, you know what I mean? You was feeding it. You thought it was all, you thought it was all funny as well. So, really, if I had my way, they should all, Julian should have laid him all out, but he for sure would have been in trouble. He would have been in trouble with that in this day and age. In this day and age, there's no way you could have chewed them all up. But they all should learn a good lesson that day. Because I feel, if you're part of a group, yeah, and you're, and you're carrying on behaviour like that, there's nothing wrong with get, letting everyone sleep it off. Yeah, I tell you what, let Ju J Julian's going to let you man sleep it off quick. All three of you. Sleep it off. Yeah? Sleep it off and, you know what I'm saying? 100%. That's what must happen right now. And the worst thing is, with these kind of situations, if Mr. If Amir Khan's cousin, yeah, had it hit his head, and whatever, all of his family come on TV, oh, oh, Amir Khan's cousin was, he was a dad, and he had four kids, and, oh, I can't believe, how could you do this to him, oh, he wouldn't hurt no one, and, did you not see the video? Oh, no, but, oh, no, he's got four, how could you do it? Wait a minute. If he's got four kids, what's he doing now? He should have thought about that, shouldn't he? Because if I've got four kids, I'm thinking, you know what? I best not pull up on the big six foot six Nick. That's what I best not do, yeah? If I've got four kids. But let's problem with it again. As I've explained at the start of the video, it's 2022. Everyone, everyone blaming everyone else for their problems. It's your problem, Amir Khan's cousin. That you got rowdy. If you hit your head off the curb after getting rowdy and pulling up on the biggest Nick in the whole area, whose fault that? It's not. It's not the big Nick's fault. Big Nick's do what big Nick's do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what I was saying the other day. Common sense has gone out the window. Back in my day, it was kind of like, wait a minute, that is one big Nick. Of all the ones I might want something with, I don't want none with him. That, that was just standard standard reasoning with rocket science. Yeah, there weren't no lessons on it. He didn't go to school to learn 
damn, if he's if he's six foot five, yeah, if he's six foot five and dark and a mother, you don't want none of that. That's what you don't want, yeah. These guys today, though, there ain't no fathers in the house, and even if there are, they're moist and cupped anyway. Most of the women are stepping out and coming to link some don called the YB, and them ones there. Yeah, so it's all peak for certain man, hundred percent. Yeah, there ain't no. No, these these kids ain't learning the basic. These new people ain't learning the basic rules of life. Yeah, that's what they clearly ain't doing. Not even a bit are they learning about it either. But yeah, great case of of justice here. Justice won today. You know, the judge YB has ruled justice is hundred percent. Justice has ruled today, and he can. My man, I guarantee you this, will think more than twice. You best believe he will think more than twice about pulling up nowhere else, no matter how small they are. Because this all, this, let's be real now, this all started from him clocking the midge don. He thought, hmm, that security guy's a little bit small, let me pull up on him. That's where it started, that's often where it starts. So-called re real alphas, yeah, real alphas, and I hate the word, the word's cringy, but real alphas, they won't. They're not bullies. Real alphas don't sit there and think, oh look, there's a small security guy, let's pull up on him. Yeah, this guy was a bully goober. A 2022 goober. Simple as that. And he got what 2022 goobers need to get. A good, yeah, 100%. Sleep it off my star. Yeah, no doubt. 